There are three big reasons why electric vehicles are on average three times more efficient than a gasoline powered vehicle. Let's start with vehicle motor efficiency. An EV directly converts electricity into movement. This makes it far more efficient than a conventional gasoline powered car, which has to burn fuel, create heat, and then use that heat by turning it into motion. An EV can be more than 70% more efficient from the moment you turn it on. Even the best diesel engine, fully warmed up, struggles to get to 30% efficiency. In other words, a conventional car wastes over half the energy in its fuel. In other words, a conventional car wastes a huge amount of the energy in its fuel. Number two, unlike a conventional car, when an EV breaks, much of the energy is recovered and put into the battery so it's available to help it accelerate again. In a regular car, the energy is simply converted into heat by the brakes and wasted. Plus, you're using your brakes, which is costing you money. Overall, an EV will generally convert around 80% of that stopping heat in the brakes straight back into energy that goes into the battery. Number three, efficient charging. However you charge your EV, it will create fewer emissions than a conventional vehicle, even if all of that energy comes from coal-fired power stations. Use low carbon electricity, and of course, there's just simply no comparison between the two. <laughs> Lately, there's been a whole lot of crazy, probably very low IQ people making ridiculous claims that electric vehicles cost more to charge or therefore implying that they are less efficient than gasoline powered cars. The truth is very far from this. In fact, electric vehicles are more than three times as efficient versus gasoline powered cars. This myth that the opposite is true needs to be debunked. It needs to be told. It needs to be said. So here I am saying it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. And you know what? It's been quite an incredible year. But lately, over the past, I'd say, four weeks, there's been a whole, a massive targeted disinformation campaign, a lot of it from YouTubers trying to get clickbait, trying to get your eyeballs to view their, their content. So my suggestion is don't click on it. I know you're clicking on it because you're sending it to me. Stop clicking on it. If you know it's a load of crap, don't even pay any attention to it whatsoever, because if you pay attention to it, if your eyeballs go towards it and you start sharing this stuff, you know what happens? People start to believe it. They think there's some kind of conspiracy theory going on. And these people, to be honest, the average person reading this stuff is not all that smart. And they'll just believe anything they read. So what I suggest you do, rather than doing that, Rather than trying to fight against this stuff, just try to educate those around you with the correct information. For example, this video, electric vehicles are way, way, way more efficient than internal combustion engine vehicles. Even Motor Trend themselves agree with that. Now, the thing is, right, if you put $5 of gasoline into your gas powered vehicle, you only get about $1 worth out of that. That's how inefficient gasoline powered cars are. Put in $5, you get $1 worth of actual forward propulsion. It's actually incredibly bad. Out of the 8.9 million barrels of gasoline consumed daily in the United States, on average, only 1.8 million gallons or approximately 20% propel an internal combustion vehicle forward. The other 80% is completely wasted on heat generation and parasitic auxiliary components that draw away energy. As the world begins its shift to electric vehicle proliferation, the good news is electric vehicles are far, far more energy efficient on the road. A new set of graphics from Yale Climate Connections makes visualizing the efficiency gains of an EV over an internal combustion engine vehicle pretty straightforward. Using data from fueleconomy.gov and the US Energy Information Administration, these graphics show the energy waste in your typical gas-powered car. Clearly, as you can see, the vast, vast majority of energy wasted in an ICE vehicle is through the heat the engine produces, 
which you can literally feel radiating from under the hood, right? There's a lot of heat going on there. That's just been completely wasted. About 5% is lost through parasitic engine components, including the cooling system, which draws on the engine's own energy to help cool it down. About 4% is lost through the mechanical friction of the drivetrain and transmission components. Could be more than that if your vehicle's a few years older, say it's done 100,000, 200,000 kilometers, that friction starts to increase significantly. Another 2% is lost due to auxiliary electrics like heated and powered seats, lights, and infotainment systems. In total, approximately 76 to 84%, depending on the car, of the original gasoline energy is lost. I'm going to say that again. 76 to 84% of the original gasoline's energy is just completely lost. That is the limit of gasoline powered cars, the absolute limit is only losing 76%. And they're never really going to improve. No matter how much money we invest into them, they will never be an efficient form of transportation. That is just a scientific fact. And the thing is, right, compare that to around 30% energy loss in the average EV, some are much less, some claim only 10% loss. But on average, you're looking at between 20 to 30% losses in an electric vehicle. That means an electric vehicle is around three times more efficient than a gasoline powered vehicle. But the thing is, it actually is much better than that because a lot of the energy you lose is actually regained by regenerative braking. Now the losses in an electric car can be broken down into approximately 10% of the source energy from the grid lost in the charging process. 18% is lost to the drivetrain motor components, and up to 4% is lost to auxiliary components. Another 3% is lost solely from powertrain cooling and other vehicle systems. Now, obviously, that vehicle there of losses from the grid can potentially change drastically because a very large percentage of vehicle drivers who have EVs charge their vehicles using solar energy, meaning those losses are almost nothing. Comparing gasoline and electric, the rough math pencils out to the energy equivalent of around 2 million barrels of gasoline per day, which is a substantial savings over the 8.9 million barrels currently used, according to Yale Climate Connections. But what about the power plants used to refuel those electric cars? Are they more efficient than gas-powered cars? Yes much more efficient. The truth is, many of you already know this, but I'm sure a lot of your friends don't. Even if the grid were entirely fueled by coal, 31% less energy would be needed to charge EVs than to fuel gasoline vehicles. If EVs were charged by natural gas, the total energy demand for highway transportation would fall by 50%. Add in hydropower, solar, wind generation, and other renewables, and the result gets even better, saving up to three quarters of the energy currently used by gasoline powered vehicles. That's according to Yale Climate Connections. Right now, all of that energy is getting lost mostly to heat, burned up in gasoline powered vehicles. What a waste. Just think, every time you brake your vehicle, you could either be sending energy back into your powertrain or losing it into the air. Which are you doing? Well, it depends on which car you're driving. If it's electric, you're recouping that energy. If it's not, you're simply blowing your money into nothing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.